Hey friends, welcome back to Shawnee on the Spot. Well, I know it's been a little minute, y'all, but I am back with another video. And I was up late, so this is another late night craft. It's Valentine's season, and I'm doing my 3D wall art again, this time a Valentine Afro Diva on a canvas. And I wanted to show you. Yes, I'm using a wire wreath also from the Dollar Tree, but I'm gonna be cutting it with my wire cutters because I don't wanna use the whole form. And I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing with it. Now, for my diva, I'm using this picture again. I'm gonna crop her hair off, put it through my Cricut Design Space so that it will print and cut for me. I love my Cricut, it does the job, okay? And there she is, already printed and cut. Now this time, y'all, I use printable vinyl so that this time there's no glue. It basically is a peel and stick, okay? All right, friends, so I'm showing you that I did cut the wire wreath and I bent it and shaped it and molded it the way that I wanted it. And then I secured it using chenille stems onto the canvas. Now the chenille stems was an afterthought. I did have some zip ties that I wanted to use but I couldn't find them and it is late at night y'all and I wouldn't finna be stressing out behind those zip ties. And the chenille stems, they have a wire in it so they worked out perfect. It is secure to the canvas, it is not going anywhere. Okay, so Miss Diva here, I'm just putting her, moving her around to see how I'm gonna place her before I stick her onto the canvas and I found the perfect placement. Now here, I'm showing you some chenille stems. They have a wire. This is a new technique that I'm trying because I want to create more of an Afro look. And I'm thinking outside of the box a little bit. So I used a couple of those chenille stems and I put them across the wire and they are secure on there. Again, the little wires in there. So that means it's not going anywhere and anything I fasten to it is going to stay. Okay, next I'm gonna take some wire mesh. Now the wet mesh that I'm using came from the Dollar Tree, so it's El Cheapo. So be careful with it because it will unravel on you in a minute. So I have a technique here that I'm gonna show you or kind of demonstrate a little bit on how you can keep that from happening. So I took a piece of cardboard. It's probably about seven by nine or so. And I'm taking that, why, uh, that mesh and I'm just wrapping it around until I'm exhausting the whole spool. Makes it so much easier to handle and keep it all together. And then I take my scissors and I cut along the top. And then I also cut along the bottom. And what that does, it keeps all of the mesh together and makes it so easy to handle each piece. They don't get frayed as much and they don't be all over the place. Y'all know how that is, okay? So I'm gonna be using red, white, and pink for this project. Now from this angle, you can kind of see the wire wreath form a little bit better. You can tell that I've cut it. It's only about a half moon shape, if that, with the Chanel stems going across. This will help me to secure my deco mesh onto the wire wreath and to form more of an Afro look. So you gotta stick around to see the whole technique. Now here I'm kind of showing you how I'm gonna curl my deco mesh and I'm going to use a little piece of the Chanel stem to also secure it together. And I'm gonna leave it a little piece open so that when I put it on the wire mesh, it just, the wire wreath, it makes it so much easier. I apologize for going out of camera, but I do have another demonstration of what I just showed you here so that you also can curl yours the same way or create another technique. I just let it kind of form on its own in a sense and curled it. And again, I secured it with a small piece of the Chanel stem with the wire. Now it is late night y'all, so give me a little slack. My fingers are not cooperating with my brain right now. <laughs> but I'm determined to get this done. All right, so that is how I did all of the deco mesh. Again, I was using red, white, and pink. And I did a lot of them ahead of time. 
because I knew I would be doing this project. So actually the other night I sat while I was watching one of my favorite shows and I just did up a bunch of them. Again, red, white, and pink because those are the colors that I wanted to use for Valentine's Day. As you can see, I've started attaching some of the deco mesh to the wires and I'm using the uh, motion of going under the wire and then over with the other part of the chenille stem. And then I'm just gonna twist it, kind of like how you do your bread twist when you're ready to secure your bread and it has a little twist tie and you just twist it and secure. So well, it's the same kind of concept here that I'm doing. As you can see, I'm twisting. And with that twisting motion is causing the wire um, from the chenille stem to be secured to the wire wreath form. And let me tell you, it's not going anywhere. So I repeat the same technique all the way around. And I'm gonna alternate the colors from pink to red to white and so on and so forth. I'm gonna use the majority of the wreath form to do so. And I'm gonna use the chenille stems that I stretched across the wreath form as well and that is because I want to create more of a full afro look so if you hang around you'll see how it turns out using that technique and I just repeat the same thing over and over until I'm satisfied with the finished look Working with this deco mesh, it was so super easy. Actually, this project did not take me very long. Once I got flowing with it and attaching the deco mesh to the wire form, I tell you, because I had already prepped it, I had already prepared and had my deco mesh already rolled up. I didn't have to do it as I went. Um, so getting it done ahead of time. So that's a tip I wanna offer you if you're gonna be creating this project or something similar. Get your deco mesh out of the way because that stuff sometimes can be a pain. But I think the way that I showed you how to wrap it around the cardboard and then cut it and handle it makes it so much easier. Less of the frays and everything because again, because it's from the Dollar Tree, it does fray easy. Um, there's better deco mesh out there. Michaels has some, even Hobby Lobby. So you can find a better quality so that it will cut down on the fraying and the... Um, you know, the ability to come apart. But the technique that I use, I think that is going to be just fine. Let me know in the comments if you use deco mesh and what is your technique that you use to keep the fraying down and to keep it from being a hot mess, honey? Let me know, because I think this is a good way, but there may be some other ways as well. I use deco mesh a lot because I do a lot of these wreaths. For some reason, they're popular. I sell a lot of them. I don't always sit down and film them, but I've sold at least 10 of them within the last year. So I have a lot of deco mesh around here, y'all. So I had to figure out a way how not to have it all over the paid place and be a mess. So, all right. So as you can see, I am almost there. I'm gonna show you what she looks like so far. Now I'm not done, but this is her so far. I took a little glitter and a little paint and I gave my girl a little lippy, a little eye, put some bling around them earrings and I'm gonna dress her up a little bit y'all. And here she is, my Valentine Diva Wreath on a canvas. I just love doing 3D art and I like the way she turned out. Yes, it's late at night, but I love it. And I think I'm gonna name her Lonnie. Lonnie Love, the Valentine Diva. All right. All right, guys, let me know what you think about her in the comments. Now, be sure to come back because I have a couple of more 3D wall art projects that I'm currently working on. One is the male version of my diva and the other is for Black History Month. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and come back and see me. Again, friends, thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to stay safe out there. And please be kind to yourself.